In this video, you will see the current progress of the future pose estimation. This is recording from a bag file. So in this video, you'll see that the car is starting off with the car in front of it recording at a 640 by 480 resolution. The images here come out at 30 frames per second, here at 12. Anyways, as you see here, let me pause for a sec. So if I pause the bag file, you'll see that here is the current pose of the car. Here's the camera, it's looking forward. April tag is outputting relative pose relative to the camera. We do the transform. We call this other base link. And then these green dots represent where the car we predict will be up to one second in the future based on an assumption that it is entirely 100% following pure pursuit, following the set of yellow waypoints. Later on, the algorithm is going to take a weighted average between pure pursuit with the waypoints versus the linear model, which is taking the car with the uh, forward velocity at its current orientation relative to the map. That has not been implemented yet. All we see in green right now is pure pursuit. Notice how as the car goes towards the corners, we lose track of it at certain points. For example, right here, we've lost track of the car. Because we've lost track of the car, we no longer know where it is, and therefore its transform is fixed in a finite place, which is unrealistic. As we gain back perception of where the car is, it updates down here, and it seems that the car wants to generally drift back towards the center to follow the set of waypoints. Continuing the video, you can observe how the car is in frame, one challenge is that because it's recording at 640 by 480, which is a 1.33 to 1 aspect ratio instead of 16 by 9, uh, we don't get as wide of a view. But this was necessary in order to get a 12 hertz image out instead of 4 hertz at 720p. So for the most part, it's predicting pretty well. There, the car falls out of frame, hence it gets stuck back here. But then we... Once we get it back in frame, it looks good again. It's updating here about 9.5 hertz, I believe. Now you might be wondering what hertz is the algorithm outputting at? So let's run this again. The algorithm I'm talking about is the Python file, which is over here. This Python script is called future pose estimator. And what a future pose estimator does is it publishes to a future pose topic. So the goal here is to know what the hertz is for future pose. All right, so future pose is outputting at a hertz of 6.6 .6 times a second, uh, which is actually a little bit slower than the rate at which images are coming in. Because images come in at last topic hertz, tag underscore detections the images down here from april tags are coming at nine eight so somewhere in between we're losing about two hertz there's probably a bottleneck of the code where it's doing a full for loop 10 times and that's that